Hey guys, I'm Tom. And I'm Matt. And this week we were testing out underwater gadgets. We went to the Nomad Diving Center up in Dibba in Oman, where they put us up for the night, gave us a bunch of diving gear, and we tested it for them. So both Matt and myself chose a different gadget to take underwater. We took them out in the boat, and now you get to see which ones we chose. Check it out. So I brought along the Sunto D9TX, the Rolls Royce of diving watches. The Sunto D9TX does pretty much everything. It gives you a digital compass for getting around underwater, three dive modes for using different gases, a decompression timer, and a built-in dive planner. Now it's time to check it out. I'm gonna get my gear on, and let's go. And I brought along the iGill. It's essentially a waterproof case that turns your iPhone 4 into a fully fledged underwater uh, camera and dive computer. So what you do is uh, you get the iPhone, you lock it in there, shut the case, seal it, and Bob's your uncle. With an iPhone at its center, the iGills gives you an 8 megapixel underwater camera. It also shoots 1080p HD video and has a digital dive log that automatically tags your photos with the depth and dive information. It has a digital compass and a flashlight to help you see underwater. So now I'm going to put my gear on and we're going to jump in and check it out. So how about that diving, huh, Matt? Tom, the diving was awesome. We should go away together more often. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, I was really impressed with my gadget. The, uh, the Sunto D9TX, kind of, it, it has a lot of kind of pro diver features. Right, yeah. But, but for me, kind of a novice, uh, as soon as you hit the water, it, it kind of turns itself on and turns into dive computer mode. So it was really awesome. No button touching required. Yeah, you see, mine was a little bit more different. I mean, yours was very professional. Mine was a lot more kind of... Novel in a way, but novel in an awesome way. Hmm. Um, the only trouble with it is, is that unlike yours, where you hit uh, turns on when you hit the water, you actually have to open the app, log in, and uh, then set it up, close the, uh, and dive in. Yeah, and Matt knows a thing or two about that. Yeah, this, unfortunately, during our second dive, I forgot to turn it on, and we didn't get any footage because we didn't realize till we were about 25 feet under the water. My bad. <laughs> but you know, I've got to say, even though my watch was. Kind of, kind of great. If you're a proper diver, you can't really fault the D9. It's one of the best diving watches out there. I, I'm a little bit jealous. Your one did seem to be a little bit cooler. There's something about bringing an iPhone down 40 <laughs> meters underwater that is just so cool. I think the rest of the people diving us were completely jealous by the fact that you know we've got a camera, we've got high, uh, high quality video under there. Um, it logs all kinds of charts for you to look at afterwards. And then the best thing about it was as soon as I got back up to the surface, I just tweeted the pictures. Who wins on that one, Tom? Hmm. So, I, I gotta say, just in the fact that I really wanted it, I think you win this one. Woo! Um, but there are always, always next week, um, and we'll have a lot more gadgets to test. Check it out next week. See you later. Bye-bye.